What's poppin' everybody? It's a Saber Wolf Finder 4. We are in the standard format after showcasing the Gallade deck profile. New Gallade from Astro Radiance. Pretty cool card, but as all the stage 2s, I uh, needed a little bit more oomph to be good. Extra HP, maybe a stronger attack. But we can still possibly make it work uh, because of Swirling Slice letting you save an energy. Honestly, if you didn't have that effect, then it would have been impossible because... When one dies, you can't power up the other one in time. But if we can conserve a little bit of energies, then we can potentially just get one attachment every turn, and he should be good to go, the other copies. So we're going to try and make it work. So I'm going to start with Mew, and I've got Jirachi and a Routes already on the bench. Level Ball going to give me another Routes. i got a pretty decent hand, I guess. Supporters, uh, Mew to give me a Search, Mysterious Tail. Let's see what we're going to get. Rare Candy. Interesting. What should I get? Evolution Sense over Candy. I guess get the Incense. It doesn't matter because I don't have both pieces. And I'm going to attach the um, double, uh, the Turbo DC Energy, whatever the name is. So unfortunately, because it's just my luck, I my opponent opened up with this Whimsicott. So it's going to be a Whimsicott V-Star deck. Just our luck, damn it. This is one of the decks that can screw over Gallade because we run so many special energies. So I'm going to need to attach as many as I can of those before he evolves into the V-Star. And of course, he just needed to have, just had to have that damn fucking uh, Rapid Strike fan, fan of waves, whatever, putting the my attachment back in the deck. So there goes the damn attachment. I see another DC energy that we can attach, but it's just it's just rough, man. I mean, he messed up my hand with Marnie. That doesn't hurt too bad, but it just really sucks that he got rid of my attachment. Paint the path to the peak. That's usually what these guys run as well, so that stadium is probably going to stick around. Not really going to affect us anyway. Uh, Whimsicott uses Bebaro most of the time for draw support. I've seen it, and this guy does the same. I've played against this deck a few times right now. Uh, they're basically very cookie cutter. Just uh, crushing hammers, you know, the barrel for draw, and then you just hope your opponent uses special energies and tools so you can disrupt them. You've got your snipe attack that you can perhaps use mid to late game, and then you just keep attacking Whim Whimsicott, and that's about it basically. It's a uh, disruption deck, like a lock, I guess, stun deck, you could say, control deck. It's decent. I guess it's a little better than what I gave it credit for in the beginning, but it is very reliant on what your opponent has. If your opponent doesn't use or doesn't care about special energies, then you don't really gain much benefit using Whimsicott. Okay, so I get another routes down. I've already got the first Gallade out in play, which is nice. Not ready to attack yet, unfortunately. And I just really need to attach as many of these DC energies and psychic energies, horror energies as I can, because we only have three basic psychic energies in the deck. Once Whimsicott starts attacking, I can't attach any of those energies. So not only are they going to be dead and I, I can't have energies, they're going to be stuck in the deck, stuck in hand, getting shuffled back in. I don't really have any way to get rid of them. So... It's just disadvantage. Disadvantage is all over the place. And Whimsicott, you know, it gains that effect through an attack. So it's not easy to get rid of, you know, the trick win effect. I mean, it's not an uh, ability or something that we can just negate with Path to the Peak. Hence why they use Path to the Peak themselves. Okay, so killed off the Mew. It's a good thing it didn't target my... Uh, curly or something because I need that damn energy and what are we gonna do now I'm gonna use the scoop up net just sort of thin my uh, hand of cards so we can draw as many as we can with our Cynthia's ambition and I guess it worked out I did see what I needed that was a close one because I just can't afford any turns of me not attacking and just not doing shit this is going to be a rough matchup as it is. I need to put as much pressure as I can. So we're going to get another routes with the 
fog crystal. Maybe I should have grabbed another psychic energy, but I got one in hand, so that's why I thought let's just get another route, get all of those dudes down, and then I can just use the energies later on. So double a late search. I'm going to get Marnie and get, uh, actually, no, let's get the schoolgirl and get Bird Keeper. Because if he gets a KO next turn, I can use the schoolgirl. And depending on what he does, then I'll use the Bird Keeper. It just depends on what he does. I do 160 to a KO on a V-Star like this one. And we just got to keep conserving the energies now. Got to do like a DC or something. Um, because I can't attach a DC in hand. Otherwise, normally in this case, maybe you'd conserve like the psychic energy. It's just rough all around. So, he has a barrel out already. He got the second V-Star, Whimsy Cot. He has enough time to attach energies, and this Pokemon is always going to be able to attack, unfortunately. Maybe I, if, I, if I could have put more pressure in the beginning, then it would have been better, but we're kind of slow ourselves. So, we're just going to have to get by, and hopefully I just keep seeing the basic Psychic Energies and just... Having the necessary cards to attack. Okay, he's going to use Avery. I already know what I'm going to dump. Jirachi and one of the Ralts. Not pretty, but I don't want him to just snipe uh, one of my dudes. Uh, so that's why I got to keep the mana fee. Maybe if we had another one, like if I, I mean, if I had two down, obviously I would have gotten rid of one of the mana fees. So just 140 damage. Galate survives. Now, this is pretty good, the fact that Galate can survive. Thing is, though, if I can't attach my energies to attack, then it's not really that great. So, checking out my deck, get uh, get supporters with Buddy Catch. I guess get as many as I can so that hopefully I can just reveal something, reveal like another basic psychic energy. I think we're gonna have to use. Uh, Bird Keeper, and then hope we get another energy or Far Crystal. What are the odds? But I gotta go for it. So, Bird Keeper, and I do see the basic psychic energy. Very, very lucky because you guys gotta remember I just have three and two basically because one is already attached. It's a good thing they're not prized, but this is gonna be rough. So, so far, we're keeping up nicely because I'm gonna get this first KO. I haven't really missed a beat of attacking, so that's pretty good. But it should become more difficult as time goes on. So now, I need to save the DC again. I'm going to put it on the benched Gallade. Um, maybe I should have put it on the routes, to be honest. Just less risk, because if he bosses orders, then I'm left with nothing. But I mean, if I put it on the routes... I just need to get the third basic psychic energy that way. At least this way, I just need a switch. <sighs> it's just very difficult no matter what we do. Uh, there's no easy answer. Whatever play you make, your opponent could have a counter in this case. So he attaches the choice belt. It's going to be a useless card, so he might as well just put it on something to just get out of his hand. 140 damage. I see the switch. Just the card I need once again. So... I can make another attack, so we gotta go for it. Switch. And I guess I'm gonna use the Skyla to get a rare candy, get the other Gallade out as well. Just remove these cards from our hand. Okay. I mean, the fighting Gallade is not gonna be very effective because he doesn't have too many Vs. He just has like two or three at best. And. I guess I could move the energy too with the Psychic Gallade, to the other one, the Fighting Gallade. And actually, maybe that, that is a good idea. I mean, Whimsicott does have a Fighting Resistance too, I believe. I guess if I... Maybe if I... But I mean, if I was attacking early without using the Psychic, then I wouldn't have been able to move it. It just depends if he's going to play down any more Whimsy Cuts. I mean, he's he's only has four of those at the end of the day in the deck. So, I don't know. I think fighting Gallade might be a bit too too risky. Okay, so Air Balloon and 
professor research draw seven hopefully i do make him a bit desperate you know he just uses those draw supporters and decks out i guess too much just goes overboard uses a crushing hammer he gets tails i mean i'm not gonna lie to you guys i know that this deck runs those cards if he gets even one lucky heads on a psychic a basic psychic energy it could be the end so i'm gonna need basically all the luck everything to go my way if we have any chance of winning this game i mean i do have the lead i do have this hurt whimsy card we just need like six attacks to win basically but it's not it's not that easy like i'm already being pretty lucky to be honest eventually our, our luck should run out okay so i don't really have anything else to utilize with incense he's at four prizes so i guess i can use schoolgirl so we're gonna go ahead and use her get a bunch of these special energies that i can't utilize god damn it so after this attack I'm going to have to get really creative. One basic psychic energy is in the Discapa. We couldn't do much about that. Ordinary Rod is going to be huge. I need to dig that card out 100%, and hopefully it's not in the prizes. So, Buddy Catch and those supporters. God damn it. So, a Swirling Slice. Here goes. Get another KO. Just two prizes left. I need to get one more V-Star KO. I got the boss's orders. Uh, there's nothing really else that I can really target. Like uh, Picking on the barrel isn't really going to do shit. I get the Falk Crystal, which is a nice card from the um, prizes. I can get the last Psychic Energy, but he did use Fan of Waves, putting that card back in the deck. So... We can't do anything now. What am I going to do? I just won't be able to attack. I cannot attack. So kills the mana fee. Uh, he decided to pull it, sort of not killing my Gallade, which I guess is good. But I have another one. I guess he wasn't expecting that. So once again, another good answer that I had. He really wants to use the snipe to finish me off. But, let's see, what's in your discard pile? Only one crushing hammer. A few other cards. Is it going to be enough? Fog Crystal. This is the last basic psychic energy we have. Where am I going to put it? Where indeed? It's very risky, because if I put it on the other Gallade that has the other psychic energy... And then I use Ordinary Rod, I get the other one, and then we can attack. If he uses Boss's Orders, it's over. Now if I attach it on the other Gallade, then I can't do anything because I can't attach Special Energies. I can't attach the Twin Energy. We can do Boss's Orders, try and get him stuck, but it's just so risky. It's just extremely risky. I think I'm going to go for the less risky approach. I am going to use Boss's Orders, so... Get the mill tank in the active position. Hopefully he can't switch. You know, there's two air balloons on his other Pokemon. I think maybe one in the disc pile. But there's the other one he had in hand. So, useless play. Fucking hell. I guess my, my luck ran out. I could have used like Marnie or something, but then you can't use boss's orders. So that didn't work out. But at this point, I need Ordinary Rod... And even if I attack the Whimsicott, I just can't power up another Pokemon. So, I think that that's our limit. It's as far as we got. He used Crushing Hammer, gets another Tails, lucky, but I don't think that's going to be enough. I mean, I used my one, my one boss's orders. I can't do this trick again. I don't have any ways to recover the boss's orders. But he makes a grand misplay here, giving me hope. Like, dude, wow. He uses the snipe. I guess he didn't realize I played another uh, Manaphy down. Yeah, yeah, people just aren't going to be used to seeing people use two of this card in the deck. People just usually use one. So if your opponent gets rid of it, 
they think they're good. I guess he wasn't paying attention, but I did play another one down, the second one. So now, maybe we can do something. I can use Roxanne here. You don't have to put on the red light. Hopefully that's enough. So, just two cards. I don't have a switching outlet. Uh, buddy catch, just half copycat left as my supporter. So, we're not going to be able to attack, but I guess maybe if I get the third basic psychic energy, attach it on the other one, then once I attack, I can put the DC on the dude. Then we can still attack. I need two damn attacks still. He's going to get a KO right now. He's using Pal Pad. Definitely going to put the boss's orders back in the deck. Oh, God, man. It's nerve-wracking as fuck. Okay, he put one of each. I don't know why he put Avery. I think he only has one boss's orders, actually, in the disc of pa. But if he does see the dude, like he can draw five cards with the barrel. Do this two times. His hand size is low as fuck. His deck isn't like, it's pretty thin as well by now. So, if he sees that shit, it's, it's over. Like, it's a wrap. So, using Quick Ball, trying to thin his deck as much as possible, playing down the other Whimsy card. Uh, put the Psychic Energy. He, this guy isn't going to miss a turn of using that attack to prevent me from playing Special Energy. So, another Barrel. Shit. Barrel draw. God, I guess he didn't see the shit. He's discarding stuff with Ultra Ball. Please don't have the boss's orders, but even if he doesn't use that, I still have the disadvantage here. I gotta see Ordinary Rod and a way to get the Psychic Energy. So, gets the kill on Snorlax. He just needs two more KOs. I got no choice. I gotta promote the uh, Gallade. And... What are we going to do? Copycat is useless. I guess I got to do Marnie. No choice. Shuffling all of these special energies back. It's not effective at all. Ah, damn it, man. Twelve cards left in the deck. So body catch. Get Copycat, I guess. I do have the Ordinary Rod in the deck. But... Like, we need to see this uh, next turn. And I guess I got the Fog Crystal, so... We're going to need a lot of luck. I use Beak Catch, I guess. Get any cards that we don't draw. Get the Marnie, too. Thin our deck. And Swirling Slice. Going to do this and put the... DCE on the other Gallade. Okay, so it's going to be the last turn, basically. I mean, hopefully he gets scared and switches, but because he searched the other Whimsy card, if he does this, he's still going to have a way to attack. Like, I need him not to be able to attack. <sighs> Damn it. If he didn't attack, I could also use, like, the scoop up net, maybe. But it's just really, it's really rough. So, the barrel, he does have the energy so he can still make an attack and kills the Gallade. Alright, so we just have one Gallade to attack with now. He just needs to get one more prize. I do top deck the Ordinary Rod, so this is a miracle. And I'm going to put the energies back in the deck. Unfortunately, I'm going to make a really stupid misplay here. Not really thinking. Just putting the basic energies at first make sense so that, you know, we don't put any unnecessary cards because we definitely need to grab a basic psychic energy. But I did have the Fog Crystal in hand, so I should have grabbed the Pokemon too. Because once Galate attacks, I'm going to need to put the energy on a useless Pokemon. So we're toast either way. So this was a misplay that. I don't want to say cost me the game because he's going to get the boss's orders anyway next turn. Uh, spoiler alert. But yeah, uh, I realized that it was a misplay not getting the Pokemon back in the deck too because 
We were going to use Marnie. Like, I do have a few more resources to get another Gallade out if I wanted to. I'm pretty sure. I mean, we didn't really see shit, but... Uh, yeah, I, I put up a good fight. It was as good as it was going to get. So close. Uh, yeah, there is a rare candy. So if I did grab a Ralts and a Gallade, we could have grabbed another one. So I go GG. It was a pretty good match. Long match, but I did what I could. He made the right plays. He did every everything right, basically, to not allow himself to lose. Besides that misplay he made, giving me a little bit of an edge, but it still wasn't enough. Uh, this match was very, very unfavorable from the start. I made it close. It's a GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully we don't play again against this deck again because it's not really Galade's matchup. I mean, he has it rough as it is in Stage 2. Not being able to play the special energies is even worse. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. What a